We can now speak to someone with more than two decades of experience dealing in debt. Georg Grodzki, head of credit research at Legal and General Investment Management, joins us now. Thank you so much for, for being on the program with us. In terms of what we're expecting, now you heard like me what we're hearing on the markets. There's also speculation possibly that this EFSF could be enlarged to one trillion. Now it's a figure that we'd never heard before. It's giving a little bit of a lift to some of the banks. But you think that no matter what happens, Greece will have to default by the end of the year? It's very likely. The market is pricing it in and it would be a relief for the market once it happens. By then, by that moment when the inevitable is acknowledged by politicians, uh, we would know what the cost uh, would be, i.e. how much debt would have to be written off. We would also probably have something you would in the corporate world call a pre-packaged bankruptcy. We would know how Greece would uh, get or move on after the bankruptcy and therefore we would have, if you want, a perspective uh, to look forward. At the moment the uncertainty about the timing and the cost of Greece default is really weighing most on the market. So you actually think that a managed default is better than staying in this limbo Absolutely. state for a little bit longer, but what exactly do you envisage? First of all, we don't really have the tools to know what some kind of coordinated default would entail and do you think that it would still say in the Eurozone, can it default and keep the Euro or does that have to be kicked out? The most likely scenario is that Greece will uh, enter an orderly default and stay in the Eurozone. If the Greek people uh, were to decide through a referendum to leave the Eurozone, that's their choice, but uh, Greece would not be kicked out and wouldn't, be, wouldn't have to be kicked out. We would have to think of how to recapitalize the Greek banks. That's probably the for first and foremost task, but the capital needs for other banks in Europe French, German, Spanish banks would be fairly manageable. Most of the extra capital needed in uh, response to the cost of a Greece default would uh, rest with banks which are already state-owned, for example, HRE in Germany or Westerby in Germany. And I understand that, of course, uncertainty is the worst enemy of the market, and so at least we'd have some kind of closure to the Greek saga. But what would it mean for the banks? Do we need to find some kind of TARP agreement, certainly for, for the weaker banks in Europe, before we can envisage this coordinated default? This, despite the market's talk, European banks' problem is not capital, um, it is actually liquidity. So whilst the uncertainty is hanging over the market, European banks will need continued liquidity support from the ECB. That may last for several months, uh, that unusual artificial situation, but there is very little we can do. What we need is continued progress in cutting government deficits, whether it's Italy, whether it's Spain, uh, whether it's France as well. And what we also need is uh, clarity on the timing and the cost of a Greek default. Prolonging this situation is really not going to help. Tripling or doubling the size of the ESSF is unrealistic because um, the AAA ratings of France and possibly even Germany would come under severe threat if their contingent liabilities yeah. would be bloated by such an uh, increase. You're in really 20 seconds, I mean, I was looking at some, look at that, BNP Paribas is gaining some 9% today, BBVA is gaining some 5%. What is going on behind this? Is it markets hoping for some kind of resolution soon? The, the markets are in disarray. I wouldn't look at daily or hourly uh, pr uh, share price or spread movements. The markets at the moment are not telling you any sensible uh, signals about the fundamentals. So therefore, ignore that for the time being. They might might bounce back in the next few days, they will probably suffer a setback thereafter, but the markets at the moment are not working properly. All right, don't listen to the markets. Georg Grotsky, thank you so much.